Welcome back. NYU Medical School will now offer free tuition to its current and future students. Free medical school. That's thanks to a very generous donation by Ken Langone and his wife, Elaine Langone. Ken says this is a way for him and his wife to share the American dream. I'm back with Ken Langone right now. And Ken, wow, what an incredible donation you gave to NYU Medical. You say you were worried about America's worsening doctor shortage. It's a serious national problem. What triggered you? Why did you give $100 million to NYU Medical? By the way, Maria, thank you for the compliment, but I only gave 100 out of the 450. We had some other wonderful donors, generous people. It wouldn't have happened without their money as well. Uh, it wouldn't have happened without you starting the whole thing. Well, Bob and I, Bob Grossman, our dean, and I started on this 11 years ago. But I want to be very fair and very honest. We only gave 100, only I can only. 100 million dollars. <laughs> I'm glad you're so humble about it, well, Ken. No, and thank I'm, you for I, your I humility. But it case. was a huge deal. Okay. And let me point out that Ken and I are both on the board of right. NYU, full right. disclosure here. But when I heard that news, Ken, I was just blown away. Why did you do it? Uh, let me tell you why. And this is ironic in the context of the discussion we've been having. You and I, no matter what the shortage of doctors are, are going to get care. We know. We have the wealth, thank God, or we have the resources, we know people, all those things. If, God forbid, we end up with a shortage, which we will right now, of 50,000 primary care physicians in the year 2030, the people who will be impacted most negatively by it will be the poor people, the people like my parents were and the people like your parents were and my grandparents. We're going to have good care, but we're set. We, Elaine and I felt strongly, how could we do the most good and have the greatest impact? It's incredible. And Bob and I talk, so we, we're going to be short 50,000 primary care physicians, we're going to be short 30,000 pediatricians, and we're going to be short 25,000 gynecologists. Wow. Okay? 12 years from because now. Because fewer and fewer people are going into, the business, going into this well, profession? Because, well, those sectors, those specialties are the lowest paying sector. Uh-huh. 